Hello guys, welcome to online web tutor presented by Profitech Sessions team. I am Sanjay. We are learning WordPress WP CLI tutorials for beginners. This is our part number 7. Inside this video session guys, we will discuss about create post using WP CLI command. So far inside this video means previous video, we had seen that how can we list our post as well as post type equal to page by using our WP query. So behind the scene, WP query has been used to list all the posts according to the parameters what we will pass inside WP CLI. Now this time, we are going to create some post inside our database by using our CLI command. So if we back to terminal and before that, if I type WP help post here. So pressing enter. Now inside this WP post list means command list, we can see that we have a create sub command. By using this create, we can create a new post. If I scroll down and here is some syntaxes or let's say example, it has provided like if we want to create a new post, simply we need to type WP post create and these are the parameters we need to use. So let's say that we want to access all the parameters what we, we can pass inside this create. So if I press Control C to get out of the box and press WP help, let's say post create, pressing enter. Now inside this, this is all the valid parameters what we can pass inside this create sub command. Inside this post author, post date, post date GMT, post content and so on. All these parameters detail we have inside this options section. So if I back to browser, now back to terminal and let's say that we want to open about admin panel. So before that, if I copy this synopsis, go inside the slides, open a new tab and pasting it here. So according to the need, we have to pass all these parameters. So if I press Ctrl C to get out of the command list and simply type WP admin, it will open admin panel inside our browser. So for now, if you go inside this post, so far we have a hello world. Now let's say that we have two options right now to create any specific post. Either we can create manually what we have done so far by using this click button of add new or either we can create via this WP CLI command. So let's say that we want to create from CLI command so WP post create and if I back to our synopsis, so this is all about post author. So simply here, we need to pass the author ID. So if I copy this key, pasting it here, and it contains value of one, it is because right now, only one single author means only a single user right now inside our WordPress setup. Again, if I back here, Let's say that this is all about post date, post content. So let's say that this is the key we are going to use. And here inside this post content, I'm going to specify some value inside this double code. So let's say this is some test content for this created post. Now next, if you go to the synopsis, now next I'm going to use called post title. So copy, back to terminal, pasting it here and let's say that this is our WP CLI first post. This is all about post title. Now next we have called post excerpt means this is a short name. Now we are going to use post status. So let's say that post status, pasting it here. And we are going to publish this post. So it should be the status of publish. Now the next we have something called post type. 
so we want to create post not page so it will be post type equal to post again go here and all these parameters we can see here now here we have post name copy pasting it here and let's say that we are going to create a simply this is WP CLI first post so we need to pass the post name as WP CLI first post if we will not pass this post name inside this parameters list so by default the create command will concatenate all these values by this hyphen symbol and all in lower case what I have done here so if I copy the command what we have written back to the slide and let's pasting it here now inside this we have passed post author we have passed post content we have passed post title post status post type and here we have let's say post name now this is the use of WP post create inside this these are the parameters we have used to create that post now I am going to press enter here now post has been created with post ID equal to 9 if I back to admin panel reload this page now as we can see that our first WP CLI first post created if we click on this edit button now we can see that this is the title and this is the content what we have added so at right hand side we can see that the status is now published because we have passed our post status as the publish status so let's say that if we go here again let's say that this time we are going to create the second post it should be post type equal to post and let's say that this is now WP CLI second post test content what we have added and now here I'm to add one more parameter something called post date again back to the parameter list and inside this if we search about post date and this is the parameter now inside this post date if suppose we have passed some value which is not the current value let's say that this is the date time of the future date so let's say that what I will pass something 20 let's say that this is for the sixth of month and it is sixth of the date of this sixth month it means that we have we have made this post as 2020 this is all mentioned if I press enter post has been created with post ID equal to 10 again back here reload this page now this time this post has a hyphen as we can see that scheduled why because we have created this post for upcoming date of 6th of June that's why it is not in published state it is in scheduled state at coming of this date when we get this date then automatically this post will be published by WordPress so this is all about creating post we can also specify some more authors or let's say apart from user ID 1 we can use like 2 3 and so on but right now we have only a single user inside our database like admin and it has the user ID of 1 we can also even supply about categories but right now we have only a single category let's say uncategorized in our upcoming videos inside this course when we will learn about category so inside that video session we will discuss that how can we move or create a specific post inside a specific category now if we go inside this pages section right now we have two pages one inside this draft and one in published status back to terminal clear the console now if I type WP post 
list and this time we have three posts what we have created called post ID 10 9 and one here this is post title and by default these are post type equal to post and here inside this post status also we can see that this is scheduled for the future and these two posts are published now let's say that we, are, we want to create a page by the help of CLI command so something WP post create simply let's say post title let's say that CLI first page we want to use some post content so post content equal to let's say sample page content created by this WP CLI command now next let's say it should be post type equal to page because this time we are going to create page and let's say post status equal to publish here now pressing enter now before pressing enter let's say that the post author for this page equal to 1 it means that this is created by admin pressing enter now created post equal to 11 now let's say that we haven't passed this post author inside this parameter list so by default it will assign zero value in it so if we go inside WordPress setup reload this page now inside this section we have we have a new page called CLI first page if we go inside this view to this front-end users and as we know that because as we haven't updated about home URL inside this WP options remember inside this WP options we have example.com so what we will do if I copy this value or instead I'm going to update our option from here so let's say option now next we need to write our key so that is home and inside this home we want this value so copy and pasting it here so pressing enter now home is not registered as a subcommand and actually we need to use here WP option update because this is the value means key and this is our command so pressing enter now so we have updated our home value reload this page now this time as we can see that our home value is now updated so back to admin panel reload this page and this time inside this if we click on this view button this time we have now our site URL this is the page ID equal to 11 post title means page title and this is all about page content so successfully guys inside this video we had seen that how can we create post type equal to post as well as post type equal to page by using our WP CLI command so inside this video session guys if you have any doubt then please drop your comment I will give my reply as soon as possible so for this video session guys thank you for watching and have a great day